as part of its norm in updating the Nigerian public on its activities, the NDLA Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marua, addressed the press on the 33th anniversary and his two years in office. Speaking, the NDLA board said the agency's desire to eradicate the drug menace in the nation will be strengthened with the signing of Memorandum of Understanding with three foreign nations, namely India, Saudi Arabia and South Africa. He vowed tougher times against cartels in 2023. What is important is that the message to the parents is to know that once caught, not only do they face stiff sentences, but they will also, after the sentences, be assured that there will be no assets waiting for them, because those will also be confiscated. On the successes recorded against the drug fight, Brigadier General Marwa stated that over 26,000 drug traffickers, including 34 barons, were arrested in the last 24 months. In these two years, we arrested 26,458 drug traffickers, among them 34 barons. So we didn't just go after the corner street dealers and the news, but the kingpins and the themselves. NDLA chairman disclosed that 3,733 traffickers were convicted with the seizure of illicit substance and cash worth 5 billion naira. 24 months, we successfully prosecuted 3,733 offenders who were convicted and handed various jail terms in court. Of the conviction figure, 2,346 were recorded in 2022 alone, which is the highest in the history of the agency and almost double the highest ever recorded in the 33 years of NDLA. As part of its effort in ensuring drug demand reduction, the agency said about 19,401 drug users were treated and rehabilitated successfully. John Tena, ITV News.